All right, so this week in our Do Re Mi class, we are exploring another famous artist like we often do. And we wanted to come to social media and talk about him with you too, because it is Black History Month and it just happens to be that one of our artists is African-American and was very influential in the African-American community. He, he was um, an artist, obviously, inspired by jazz music. So that's why he's in our Do Re Mi music and art program is because of his jazz, heavy jazz influence. And there he is, Romare Bardin. Um, he was born in North Carolina, um, but he actually moved up north in order to create, uh, in order to move to a more friendly area for African Americans at the time. He was born in 1911, and he was from a very rural part, a very uh, sparsely populated part of North Carolina. And at the time, it wasn't a great place to be um, if you were a, from a black family. Uh, but Romare Bardin served in the army. After World War II, he began painting and um, he got very heavily deeply into the jazz scene. Um, here we have, and by the way, this is all from um, Romare Bardin in, um, inspired websites uh, and information that's out there publicly. And you'll see he definitely had some influence with other artists like him, like Pablo Picasso and Matisse. Is that right, Kevin? Yep. Yeah. So um, Stuart Davis, another artist, is uh, somebody who we actually worked with and learned a lot from, who uh, also really liked art um, and jazz combination as well. Uh, and what we're listening to right now, we mentioned this uh, because he inspired many jazz and blues musicians. There's actually an album bearing his name uh, called Romare Bardin Revealed. And uh, he, you'll see here that, um, you know, there's a, there is a band called the Bradford Marsalis Quartet that put out his music uh, or music bearing his name. And that's what we're listening to right now. And I want to take a look at some of the other collages that he did. He did a lot of work with collage. And you'll see it's all very jazz inspired, African American inspired, uh, as jazz being a very big part of culture uh, in the South and everywhere, really. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's kind of fun. That is pretty fun. Yeah. And Kevin made a piece. Uh, that was what I do. Oh, and this is the piece right here that we're inspired by. Uh -huh. Kevin, you want to talk a little bit about this? Because you, last time we did this class, you kind of took the lead on it and worked with the artist. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about this piece and maybe show us what you did? I'm going to put you on the spot. Oh, uh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do it. So, <laughs> so show us, show us what you did. Well, I did mine out of mostly construction paper, but I gave everybody like newsprint and construction paper, lots of fun stuff because right. like you said, he was inspired by the jazz scene. Mm -hmm. And so he did a lot of stuff involving musicians in particular. So could you share with everybody what the name of this piece is? This is called Up at Menton's. Mm -hmm. And it was largely considered to be a masterpiece for him because it did so very well depict the uh, jazz scene. Um, so you, could you show everybody your work one more time? Mm -hmm. Tell us what you did. Well, um, I used tissue paper and construction paper mostly and just made a couple of musicians just like Romare Bardin did in his work. Yes. Yeah, you can almost hear the music. <laughs> we can hear the music. <laughs> All right, excellent. So we're going to start creating now. 